What's up guys and welcome back to the weekly update right here on Deco Creek TV. My name's Jeff and today we are going to be learning about the slump of a concrete mix. Uh, what is slump? How do we measure it? And how can we affect it? So stay tuned and we're going to tell you all about it. Did I slur slump too bad on that? So the term slump um, is essentially uh, referring to the flowability or, or the consistency, if you will, of a concrete mix. Um, in other words, um, how easy it's gonna just level out on its own or how much it's gonna wanna uh, stay standing up. And so uh, the thing is about concrete is it's so widely used for so many different applications and so many different situations um, around the entire world that, uh, well, we're gonna need to be able to actually somewhat measure or quantify um, how well that's flowing. And so um, even just in decorative concrete, um, um, you know, we're not gonna use the same um, mix or the same flowability of a mix um, to pour a set of steps as we would um, to pour a patio. Or maybe we're even pouring a wall or a fire pit and we're trying to get that concrete to run into the top of form and, and get all the way to the bottom and, and the other side of the form and, you know, completely encapsulate um, any kind of steel or any reinforcement that, that's inside of our pour. And so, you know, we're gonna need to use a more flowable mix in that case um, than we did um, when we were pouring that set of steps. And uh, for the patio, well, we're gonna be so somewhere in between. And so um, how are we gonna measure uh, this slump? Um, normally, um you guys are gonna hear numbers like you know four, five, six, and uh, those are great numbers to use uh, if you're trying to tell your ready mix plan or your uh, truck driver um, what slump you want it. Um, but I want to talk about what those numbers actually mean. And uh, so, in order to get an idea of this, uh, we're gonna use um, one of these um, actual concrete slump testing cones. Um, and this is how we'd actually perform an actual slump test in, in concrete. Now, again, this isn't something um, that you're gonna be doing on that um, eight yard residential patio. Um, again, you know, this is something. That that um, is done more in the commercial world and they're gonna record all this stuff. But I wanted to just show this to you guys uh, so you know um, how everything works. And so uh, basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna set this um this test cone up on this platform. We're gonna lock everything down. Um, and then we're gonna actually, you know, dump our concrete in from the top. We're gonna fill it up in thirds and we're gonna uh, use this little tamper here to actually, you know, pack that stuff uh, in there. So I'm gonna fill it a third, I'm gonna pack it, another third, pack it again, all the way until the cylinder's full. And then I can use this rod to actually, um, you know, level everything off at the top. And at that point, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lift my cone I'm gonna let the concrete um, essentially be on its own at that point. And this is what we're looking to actually measure is how much of that sag or slump, if you will, after we pulled it out of that cone. Um, we can use our handles here to uh, lift this back up. And now we can actually measure the difference um, from the bottom of this handle uh, to where that concrete settled to. And so that number that it gives me, um, in other words, if it's four inches from here to the um, actual where the concrete stops slumping at, well, then I have a four inch slump. Um, now, if my measurement happened to be five inches, well, I've got a five inch slump and so on. Um, now what we can see here is that uh, that number, uh, your actual inches of slump, uh, well, the higher it is, the more flow flowable it is. Um, so in other words, if this concrete would have uh, stayed standing up, it would have only fell this far, well then I have a two inch slump. Um, if it would have fell this far, I'd have more something more like a six inch slump. So just always remember, the higher the number, the more flowable uh, the mix is gonna be. And so um, now that we understand um, what slump is, um, how we measure it, um, well, we need to talk about how we can affect it or how we can change it. Um, in a, so, you know, you're always gonna order your concrete to come to the job site at a certain slump, and, and when it gets there, it's rarely just the way you want it. Um, usually, uh, you're gonna have to affect it a little bit. And, and uh, the first thing we can do is we can just add a little bit of water. Uh, so, you know, the average um, term out there is that uh, if we add a gallon of water per yard of concrete, that's gonna bring the slump up one inch. Um, so now let's go back to this for a second. And I knew that I had a yard of concrete in my truck. I knew I had a four inch slump. So if I add one gallon, well, now I know I'm gonna have a five inch slump. And um, you can kind of use that little formula uh, to calculate how much water you wanna add just based on how many yards of concrete are in your truck. Now, again, let's, um, you know, that, that works fine for pouring steps and, and patios and things like that, but let's go back to uh, that situation where we needed to get the concrete to really flow um, a long way and get to the end of a form that we're not gonna be able to get to to be able to push it around and, and consolidate it. Well, now we're gonna have to uh, create an even higher slump yet or a more flowable mix. And we're not really gonna wanna do that with just water. Uh, we're gonna actually use something else to create some flow without um, actually diluting our cement too much. We don't wanna get outside of that, that good um, water to cement ratio. So. Um, you could use something, um, this guy here would be um, our Superflow product. Now again, this isn't um, 
the same kind of stuff you put in your ready mix truck, but it's the same idea. This is an ad mixture that when I add this, um, I'm gonna gain a lot of slump. Um, you know, I talked about we added um, one gallon per yard of concrete is gonna get us an inch. Um, well, for an ad mixture like this, an actual water reducer, we can gain that inch of slump uh, with way less than a gallon. Um, in fact, it's pretty amazing um, some of the ad mixtures are out there and how little bit of ad mixture it takes to gain a whole lot of slump. So now we can actually make our concrete more flowable, um, do what we need to do with it, but we didn't actually water it down and, and actually hurt any strength. And so if you guys have any questions on this stuff, uh, please leave them in the comments right below this video. Um, if you guys like these videos and you want to continue to see more like them, um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. Uh, if you guys want any more information on decorative concrete, just go to our website, deco-creesupply.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next week.